डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड माय टीचर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार आई वेलकम यू टू द प्रेजेंटेशन लेक्चर ऑन कॉक्सिक्स वटिब्रा बिफोर आई स्टार्ट माय प्रेजेंटेशन लेक्चर यू ऑब्जर्व द कॉक्सिक्स वटिब्रा फॉर एग्जांपल दिस वन इज द कॉक्सिक्स ओके देन दिस वन दिस इज द लैटरल व्यू दिस इज द कॉक्सिक्स this is the sacrum this is the sacrum okay sacral canal <coughs> then in this figure coccyx this one this part this coccyx this one coccyx now in this figure coccyx in this figure this part okay coccyx so now starting with the first point the shape of coccyx <coughs> now here it is written that like the sacrum coccyx is having the triangular shape for example as you can see this is the triangular shape coccyx now in some of the physiology book they are mentioning the shape of the coccyx is the inverted triangular shape now the both the points that the triangular shape or the inverted triangular shape both the points are valid and correct because it depends on us from which angle we are observing the <coughs> vertebral column that's why so this is the first point the shape of the coccyx so coccyx is a triangular in shape now <coughs> there are four coccygeal vertebra okay for example this one this is this one is the coccygeal vertebra 1 then this is this one is the 2 then this one is the 3 and this is the 4 okay so how this coccyx coccyx is a one vertebra and how this one coccyx vertebra is formed so here it is written it is formed by the fusion of usually four coccygeal vertebra so 1 2 3 and 4 this four coccygeal vertebra joins together fuse together and forms one coccygeal one <coughs> coccygeal one large coccygeal vertebra that is known as the coccyx vertebra so with this we have completed the first point of our discussion now moving on the second point <clears throat> now the fusion at what age the fusion occurs for example this is one this one is the two this is the third and this one is the fourth coccygeal vertebra now in the previous lecture on the sacrum we have learned the five sacral vertebra that is the s1 s2 s3 s4 and s5 they start to fuse each other at the age of 16 to 18 years but here this four coccygeal vertebra they fuse together at the age of 20 to 30 years so between the 20 and 30 years this four coccygeal vertebra fuse together okay so that's why they are writing the coccygeal vertebra fuse somewhat later than the sacral vertebra and between the age of 20 to 30 years okay so with this this is the second point we have completed now moving on the third point this is the third point of our discussion what is coccyx 
So the small terminal part of the vertebral column or the tail end of the vertebral column is known as the coccyx and it is made up of four fused coccygeal vertebra for example this one this one this one and this one okay and as you can see over here it is written has the shape of the inverted triangle so as I have mentioned earlier that in some book you will find they are writing the triangular shape and in some book they are writing the inverted triangle so once again this is the on left hand side as you can see this one is the vertebral column and at the end for example this one this one is the coccyx okay so it is the coccyx is the small terminal part of the vertebral column now moving on the fourth point okay the base of the coccyx is directed superiorly for example this is the base so the base is directed it is somewhat upward okay and the superior surface bears a facet for articulation with the sacrum okay so i am showing you this surface is having depression or we can say it is having a groove okay or we can say it is somewhat a concave little bit concave surface so that surface that this one this superior surface we can say it is a facet and this facet articulates this facet joins with the sacrum okay i will explain you how this facet articulate with the sacrum okay now <clears throat> then the two horns one on each side and they are projecting upward okay and this two horn they are going to join with the horns of the sacrum for example they are talking about this on the lateral side as you can see this one and this one this one is the coccygeal cornu or it is also known as horn and this is the sacrum and last time we learned that this is the sacral cornu so this sacral cornu joins with this okay in this figure they are shown both the horns are shown separately that means they are not joining over here but <coughs> i will explain how they are joining okay so wait for that so with this we have completed the fourth point that the on the <coughs> transverse side or the lateral side the coccyx is having the coccygeal cornu and this coccygeal cornu joins with articulates with the sacral cornu okay this is the fourth point now moving on the fifth point now what this processes are for example what this cornu is okay so this processes are modified superior and interior interior articular processes that are present on the other vertebra so this processes or the cornus here in this book they have wrote this point this way but for the same discussion how this cornus are <coughs> originate so i will give you the other point also from the other physiology book so here you remember this point that the processes are they are the processes are uh, originate from the modification of the superior and interior articular process of the other vertebra okay so this is the fifth point now moving on the sixth point <coughs> now each lateral surface of the coccyx has a small rudimentary transverse process 
for example this one this one is the small and this one is the small okay so on each lateral surface small rudimentary small rudimentary transverse process are present okay this one and this one and they are extending from the first cochlear vertebra for example this one is the first cochlear vertebra and they are extending for the from the first cochlear vertebra so this is the sixth point of our discussion now moving on the seventh point okay this is the this one is the seventh point you have to remember this point that vertebral arch are absent from the cochlear vertebra and therefore no bony vertebral canal is present in the coccyx okay i will show you for example this is the this is the sacrum okay we are viewing the sacrum laterally this is the lateral view of the sacrum and as you can see the sacrum has sacral canal okay so the sacrum is having the sacral canal is present in the sacrum but see this is the coccyx and coccyx is made up of four small vertebra or we can say four only the four small bones are present so that's why the canal that is the vertebral canal is not present in the coccyx so this is the meaning of the seventh point now moving on the eighth point okay now this one this one is the this one is the cornu of coccyx and this one this one is the cornu or the horn of the sacrum once again for example this one this one is the sacral cornu this one is the sacral cornu and this one this one is the cochlear cornu so how the sacral cornu joins with the cochlear cornu this is the eighth point so here it is written okay see the dorsal surface of the body of the coccyx contain two long cochlear cornu this one this one are and this one this one is the cochlear cornu okay this two for example this one is the cochlear cornu and this one and this one this is the sacral cornu so cochlear cornu are connected <coughs> to the sacral cornu with the help of ligament so as you can see these are the ligament okay so this cornu this cornu and this cornu they are joined with the help of ligament okay so the name of the ligament first this ligament okay which is present between the sacral and cochlear cornu the name of this ligament is posterior posterior sacro cochlear ligament okay and the name of this ligament so it is lateral this ligament is known as lateral 
sacro cochlear ligament so with this we have completed the eighth point moving on the ninth point now what are the cochlear cornu how this cochlear cornu originates so cochlear cornu are pedicles and superior articular process of the first cochlear vertebra okay remember this point cochlear cornu are the pedicles and superior articular processes of the first cochlear vertebra this is the ninth point moving on the 10th point now in the 10th point this is the this one is the female pelvis and as you can see we are viewing this female pelvis from above now in females what is happening the coccyx points inferiorly as you can see this coccyx it is pointed inferiorly or it is pointing back side okay the reason is we know in females um, there is a nine month pregnancy and the baby's body is developed okay now after the pregnancy the woman is going to give birth to the baby so that time the when the parturition or the child birth is taking place the baby's body should not get the injuries so that's why this coccyx is pointed inferiorly so you see the magic of nature you see the creation of the god okay how it is protecting all of us so the female in the females the coccyx points inferiorly to allow the passage of a baby and in males it points anteriorly okay so yeah. this is the this one is the male pelvis and as you can see this coccyx it is <coughs> projecting okay it is present anteriorly it is pointing anteriorly in men now you can see this this is the female pelvis and we are viewing from the front okay and this is the female pelvis we are viewing from the above this one is the male pelvis this is the anterior front and this one is also male pelvis view from above okay so this is the 10th point now here so when we when you are preparing the pelvic girdle that time i will describe this table but uh, you can go through this table but here the thing that you need to observe for example this is the coccyx okay this is the female coccyx and this one is the male coccyx so here you can see okay it is projecting inferiorly and this coccyx projecting anteriorly okay uh, this one is the female coccyx and this one is the male coccyx now moving on the last point of our discussion point number 11 okay the coccyx articulates superiorly with the apex of the sacrum for example here this one is the coccyx okay and it is joining with the apex of the sacrum for example this is the 
apex of the sacrum and this is the superior articular facet of the coccyx okay so this coccyx is joining the sacrum so this point the coccyx articulates superiorly with the apex of the sacrum okay so with this i have completed this presentation lecture only 11 point were there i hope this presentation lecture you have enjoyed this presentation lecture this presentation lecture is helpful in your exam preparation and same time it is it will be helpful in your studies my name is manish kushti sir i am from ahmedabad india bye bye namaste